مشاهدينا الكرام اسعد الله اوقاتكم بكل خير اهلا بكم في هذا الحوار الخاص مع مدرب شباب الوزداد البرازيلي ماركوس باكيتا ماركوس باكيتا ذا هيد كوتش اوف شباب بلوزداد ويلكم باك تو الجيري اند ويلكم باك تو شباب بلوزداد ثانك يو بعد ثانك يو فور انفيتيشن اي ام هير فور ذا جود انسر فور يور كويشنز ثانك يو كوتش كوتش فيرست اوف اول ديد يو ميس الجيري اند شباب بلوزداد Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, uh, I, I make here good friends, uh, special for players, for fans, and for the management also. But, you know, I have some, some problem in, in family, I cannot continue, it's uh, very difficult, but now I make some solution for back here. Coach, uh, after being uh, the Algerian uh, champion with uh, Shabab Luzdad in uh, 2022, what's your objective now with uh, Shabab Luzdad? You know, the same, you know, uh, we make a good season and also the club have a dream. I too have a dream to, to qualify and go far away in the CAF competition. And uh, you try all the best game by game. The players now, they, they understand more my philosophy because now you, you change the 90% 90, 90 of the, 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 the group and uh, I think I think the, the group is uh, very, very, very happy with the, with the training, with the games also. They, they, they believe more in our idea and I hope you can do much better and much better. The Shabab Luzdad have been uh, Algerian uh, championship with uh, four times in a row. Uh, can we say uh, that uh, the administration is uh, required for, uh, from you to have uh, or for, to go looking for the African Championship, uh, African uh, Champions League, uh, sorry, uh, especially when, uh, when you know that uh, Shabab Luzdad have been four-time champion in Algeria with uh, five coaches? Yeah, you know, uh, every year there's uh, like a target and the challenge also, you know, and uh, it's, a, it's a big target for us. It's a big objective to, to, to go to the CAF and uh, make a good season in the CAF. And, you know, they have a lot of pressure for that thing. You know, I know the players, they, they have more players now in the high league to play this competition. They have a big experience also. He can, he can help us during the competition and, uh, you know, uh, I think the, the, the management of the club, they, they have uh, good ideas for the day, the year by year, they put more, more one team more competitive to go more times, stay far away in the, this competition and, you know, you, you have to do something much better in this season. For give to the, the uh, our fans, it's a dream, you know. <laughs> yes, and can Shabab uh, win uh, the African Champions League this year? You know, for uh, if you compare the budget for the the big nest teams, you have competition. It's very difficult. It's not easy, but uh, you do the best. You know, you know football. Football, it's uh, in the pitch, you know, in the money, you no, know, in the name. You know, you have to prove that during the games. Coach, uh, uh, let's talk about you uh, a little bit. Uh, we can uh, call you a traveler coach. You have been uh, worked with uh, three continents, uh, more than uh, 10 uh, country. How, how do you keep the passion? It's for me, it's normal, no? Because I born in the club like a Flamengo. Flamengo is a, it's a big fan in the world. And the pressure there, uh, you start early. When I, when I begin uh, decide to, to be coach and uh, I have uh, every day some uh, difficult things to, to make solution and they give me too much uh, experience 
also when I work in national teams and uh, participation with the World Cups. And, you know, that's a, a coach uh, job, it's not easy. And when more times you work, more times you get uh, uh, information, you get experience, you, you, you know which way you have to take. Coach, uh, you have also uh, have been coached in uh, more than uh, uh, country Arab, uh, like uh, Morocco, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Emirates, uh, Libya, Iraq. What's the difference between them and Algeria in the football or in life uh, in general? Uh, you know, in football, you know, I think here it's like, uh, you know, the, like a Brazilian, the, the, the players brought from the ground, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But uh, they, need, they need one good organization for the basically and uh, uh, also for information uh, for the young players. When they grow up to the first, first team, they have more experience. Also, the intercambio between not only play in the Africa, but they have to play participation for the international competition, like uh, 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 in Europe and South America, there's a lot of competition for young players. I think for the country it's very good, or or uh, I have some idea for for federation. They I propose they make some uh, international games here from the clubs. I think it's good for for our players uh, play against uh, one Real Madrid, play against one Flamengo, one, one Barcelona. You know, I think that's that they they keep more experience when they play against this team. And uh, if you compare for each country, there's a different situation. You know? If you compare Saudi Arabia with the Qatar, with the Marat, you know, say that there's some people go to the pitch to see the game. There's a lot of fans, but in Saudi, uh, there's a lot of fans. But in Qatar, it's difficult to the fans going, not going for the all the games. You know, that's that's I think is a little bit different. Also, their life, it's a different life. You know, I think the people, they don't like play more football because they have an easy life, you know. And when you have to choose player, you choose player, they, they're hungry to play football, you know. But, hungry uh, to success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think the Argel and Morocco players, because it's the last two, two experience, they have a good uh, scenario to promotion good players for the world. Coach, uh, you have been also the head coach of uh, Saudi Arabia in uh, the World Cup uh, 2006. Uh, tell us about the feeling uh, to be in the World Cup. Yeah, you know, the World Cup is different. It's not one competition, it's an event. Uh, it's fantastic, you know, for the players, for the coach, for the fans. It's a different, you, you cannot imagine it, when you participate in the World Cup. I, I got a lot of, lot of uh, uh, experience. Also, uh, when you begin, you have a lot of uh, meeting. After, also, you have some meetings between coach for talk about competition, for talk about the, the hula, for you can change for the football more attractive. I think FIFA do very well to, to improve and then competition by competition, one new idea to football ground up. Coach, uh, also the Algerian uh, national team uh, target to get uh, the, uh, in the World Cup 2026. Do you see that uh, target is easy for Algeria or uh, do you see it hard for Algeria? Yeah, it's, it's not easy, not, nothing easy, nothing easy, you know. The first, the first step they have to qualify. That's most important, no. I think they have a good experience now, you know, and uh, they have a good player, they have a good coach, they have a nice staff. I, I hope they qualify. I'm here to support them. <laughs> coach, I will give you some names and uh, I, will, I, uh, I want you answering quick uh, answer, uh, like uh, Riyad Mahrez. It's a creative player. Islam Slimani. Is this Soleimani? It's an amazing player. <laughs> uh, it's a player, it's a collective player. Uh, Amir Sayud. Sayud, 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 Sayud. Sayud is a, you know, when you have one brand in the team, 
eu, eu sei saúde. <risos> Carlo Ancelotti. Carlo Ancelotti é o melhor coach do mundo. Eles provam que não pode fazer mais coisas, porque ele tem uma boa experiência e também ele tem a luck. É muito importante para o coach. É o melhor para o time do Brasil? Eu não sei, você sabe? Essa é uma pergunta boa. E os brasileiros pensam as mesmas coisas. I think there's a very good coach in Brazil. Uh, I think, I think he has a good name, but I don't know, I don't know if they can can drive this situation. But I think it's much easier because now all Brazilian players uh, they they play in, in Europe. You know, they have a, they have a style now to play like like they they like. You know. Also, they have uh, so many players. Uh, he worked with him in, in Real Madrid. But you no, know, there's a positive and negative points, and uh, it's a difficult for talk the, the situation. Maybe he can do well. Maybe no. You know, because it's a different style. <laughs> yes. My final uh, name: Jamal Belmadi. About sorry. Jamal Belmadi. Jamal. Jamal, you know. Uh, That player, it's uh, uh, competitive. Jamal Belmadi, the head coach of Algerian national team. Head coach, Nationalism. head coach. Yes. I know it. Yes. It's a competitive. They, they, they do very well, and they think only in their team. They don't think about individual situation. I think this is good for the coach. He he, he put in the first first target Algeria national team, and they drive very well the team. I hope he he can do very well. Because he have a quality players, he he drive these players very well, and uh, sure he can give a chance to qualify this team to World Cup. Coach, uh, thank you so much for uh, this opportunity, and uh, thank, thank you. you so much, buddy. Thank you, thank you so much. مشاهدينا الكرام بهذا نكون قد وصلنا وياكم لختام هذا الحوار مع مدرب شباب الوزاد ماركوس باكيتا شكرا.